Hello friends, in this video we will discuss a question from ISS 2020. Question number 2. The question is, consider the distribution having probability density function of a random variable x as f of x theta equal to 1 by theta when 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to theta and 0 elsewhere. Let 1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 1.5 be the critical region to the test. To test the hypothesis H0 theta equal to 1.5 against H1 theta equal to 2, then option A, size of the test is 0 and test is unbiased. Option B, size of the test is 1 by 2 and test is unbiased. Option C, size of the test is 1 by 3 and test is biased. Option D, size of the test is 1 by 3 and test is unbiased. Given x is a uniform random variable, lies in the interval 0 theta and the density function is given by f of x equal to 1 by theta. where 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to theta. Here the problem is to test H0 theta equal to 1.5 against the alternative hypothesis H1 theta equal to 2. And the critical region, the critical region is 1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 1.5. That is when the sample point lies in this interval, we reject the null hypothesis with probability 1. So, we have, we can define the test function phi of x as phi of x equal to 1 if x belongs to C, that is if the sample point lies between 1 and 1.5, x belongs to C and 0 if x does not belong to C or belongs to C complement. Both are equivalent. Now let's find the size of the test phi. Size of the test is given by supremum theta belongs to theta naught beta phi theta where beta phi theta is defined as expectation of phi of x beta phi of theta which is equal to now uh, given both the hypothesis H0 and H1 are simple, hence the uh, parameter space theta0 and theta1, which are the subset of the parameter space capital theta, contains only one point. Therefore, the supremum theta belongs to capital theta0 beta phi theta will be equal to beta phi theta of theta by under H0 theta is equal to 1.5. So this become theta expectation, sorry, beta phi theta, theta belongs to theta naught which is equal to beta phi theta, theta equal to 1.5 which is equal to the expectation of phi of x then theta equal to 1.5.
which is equal to 1 into probability that x belongs to C plus 0 into probability that x belongs to C complement or x does not belongs to C which will be equal to 0. So it is equal to the probability that when x lies in C then it satisfies the condition 1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 1.5 where theta equal to 1.5 therefore it is equal to integral 1 to 1.5 1 by theta dx given theta equal to 1.5 that is it is equal to integral 1 to 1.5 1 by one point five DX which is equal to one by one point five into one point five minus one. Which is equal to 0.5 divided by 1.5 so 0.5 divided by 1.5 that is 1 by 3 therefore we obtain the size of the test as 1 by 3 now let's check the options so we obtain the size of the test is equal to 1 by 3. Therefore, option A and option B are both wrong. Now, let's consider option C and D. The second part is to test whether the, give, uh, the test function phi of x is biased or unbiased. A test function phi of x is said to be unbiased if let alpha be a value for the probability of type 1 error. Phi of x. A test function phi of x is said to be unbiased if it satisfies two conditions. 1. Beta phi theta theta belongs to theta naught is less than or equal to alpha and second one is when beta phi theta theta belongs to theta 1 is greater than or equal to alpha. If the test function phi satisfy both these conditions, then phi is said to be unbiased. In question, the value of alpha is not given. Therefore, we take alpha as 0 0.05. Also, we get beta phi theta, theta belongs to theta naught as 1 by 3, which is equal to 0.33. So clearly the uh, first condition is violated by the test function phi of x given by this formula. Therefore the test function is not unbiased. 
the and the answer is option C. D is wrong since the size or the value beta phi theta theta belongs to theta naught which is equal to 0.33 is not less than or equal to 0.05. Therefore, we get the answer as option C.